All right, YouTube. Welcome to today's breakdown of the ebook, and today we're gonna to be focusing on the wide trips formation single back version. And as we as we already discussed, uh, one of the things I like to do from this is if I would say, if I was in single back doubles, this is what single back doubles looks like. And so I normally like to motion the receiver when I when I run. So I go across formation and I audible into my double china play here, and you see I can run this now. Now the key to double china, you don't have to do any hot routes if you don't want to. I like to personally drag uh, R1 here. Your first read on this play is R1. If R1 comes open, which he normally does, you see you have a, a big time zone beating route in that. Okay, so now that we have that route, let's talk about how circle plays off of R1's route. So we're going to uh, run it here. Circle is going to come in behind R1 as yet another zone beater. So they cannot use her either route. If they use her one route, go to the other one, is what we're doing here. So cover three. Show you how to cover three here. Same principle. Take the drags. Okay. I'll show you two men under. Two men under, one of the best coverages, best stock coverages ever, supposedly, to a lot of people. Same concept. Normally the drag will come open against two men under as well. Pass leading to the left. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. If he does not come open against man coverage, what I want you to do is take a look at your circle route, or your uh, circle uh, receiver here. You're going to see he gets that inside position, and uh, he kind of bodies him up. You can use that to beat man. If you don't like either one of those routes, one thing you could do is motion snap wide receiver number four. Uh, motion snapping one step to the inside so that he gets that inside position, but the only issue with that is it does, you see there, it goes behind the backfield sometimes. So you may want to just use the easy method. Just throw your corner routes. Throw your corner routes against uh, man coverage. You're going to see the corner routes going to absolutely roast it. He's lined up with the middle linebacker, or excuse me, lined up with the middle linebacker. Uh, very easy to beat that. So, this is mainly a zone beating play, uh, and then uh, the only other man beating route I like is this post route, passing it down into the inside. See how it crushes man coverage. It's a deeper slant and very effective. The run all down here is this inside uh, HB zone weak, which is going to complement the inside zone because, as you know, we like to motion over and run the inside zone to the right, and then we just go into our trips, audible to our run audible down, and now we're running the ball to the other side of the field. So essentially, we always have that threat of being able to run the ball. If we want to run this run to the right, go ahead and just play maker to the right. And it's like a slam run. It's a little different than the inside zone. It's more of an outside zone type of run. Uh, but a very effective nonetheless. I like to slide my line to the left when I run this to the left and right when I slide when I run it to the right. So there's that play. Let's go over the quick pass audible real quick. This is actually the main reason I love this formation. Wide receiver screen. Okay, all we're going to do is we're going to put circle on a comeback and put our running back on a little flat pattern. And we're going to slide our line to the right. Now you have a, if they are off coverage, something like this, Snap, throw the ball to the fade route. It's it's money. It is. If there's nobody over the receiver or if they're off coverage. Let's show you cover zero here. Cover zero blitz uh, is, 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 is technically off coverage. So if you see this, snap, throw the ball to the fade. No read, just throw it. You see, they're, they're not picking it. I mean, they don't they don't pick the ball. Now, if they're, pre if they're cover three, they have a flat defender. Say, you know, okay, we're getting crafty. We're going to put a flat defender out there. Try to get that picked. Throw the ball. See, he gets that big up. Get up. Get up, big boy. Go get the ball. That's that kind of. That's what we're doing with that. And it's going to beat cover four. It's going to beat cover three. It's going to beat cover zero. That's a snap read. They have to adjust to that. And the beauty of that is, if they adjust to that, a lot of times they will not adjust to the wide receiver screen. So a lot of times they'll go into their run defense. Run defense usually features either maximum coverage or uh, outside pressure. You're going to see quick wide receiver screen, get out there and go with your running back and get some yards with the new run free system. That's what we're doing with that wide receiver screen. And then the only uh, other read on this play is if they're, say they're press coverage, like uh, two men under here, and they make a good play on the screen, they always have a comeback to beat man. So that's how we use the wide receiver screen. Uh, the, uh, what is it, the, the uh, play action. The play action was a Z spot. Uh, basically, this is my rollout play. I love this play. It's uh, very good. It, it's so good, man. So, uh, we've already been over Z spot. It's just from single back now. 
same exact stuff. And then the last play I wanted to go over is the, where are we at? Where's my uh, deep pass? There it is, deep pass. Smash. We went over this in the other video, but this actually already has our tight end on a streak. So what I'll do with this in conjunction is I'll drag the left receiver and I'll leave my running back on that block and release. A lot of times when they have cover four, you see against cover four, we got this, the, the streak against cover two. We're going to have the, uh, we should have the streak again against cover two. Uh, but we'll have the, the drag streak combo over the middle against cover two and cover four. And then against cover three or cover one, we're going to have the, uh, the the smash concept. If it gets pressed, you throw you immediately throw the ball to circle. That's your only read on this play. But if the only read on this play is who gets pressed, you know if your slot gets pressed, throw the throw the ball to circle. And you do the same thing on a double china. Let me show you how to double china. I may I may have forgotten to break this down. Out of double china. Out of double double china. If circle or if R one gets pressed, throw a circle. Snap gets pressed. Okay, throw a circle. See that? Nice, pretty, easy, quick reads. Deep pass audible, two man under. What's going to happen here against two man under? A lot of times, what's going to happen is R one's going to be wide open. Okay, we not, we rarely use that area of the field out of double China and Z spot. So the way that works is nice. Also, another quick thing that you could do if you want to be original is you go to your deep pass, uh, you put R one on a streak, and you could put your tight end on a smart routed out route. This is just something to mix in. This is not the main stuff, but motion snap him one step inside, pass lead him to the inside, wide open every, every time. No matter what coverage they're in, you throw it all day. It, it crushes his own. So you have that as a mix-in, but the main concept here is this, and again, if they're in um, cover cover two man under, you're going to see just right out to the outside, wide open every time. Okay, And then you have the drag streak combo. This is primarily a zone beating uh, formation. Like I said before, the trips, I, I like trips to be zoned this year, but you can beat man if you really want to with that comeback or, or the corner routes or whatever. But once again, make sure you're mixing in your inside runs and uh, you're just working the ball at the field. Uh, very easy offense in review here, guys. I just want to touch on this real quick. Uh, the offense is very easy to run. It's very simple, and it's a lot of the same reads over and over again, but it's very difficult to stop what we're trying to do. And the beauty is the way the offense is, the, the transitions and the shifts, are just so flawless, so easily to be used. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this ebook as far as uh, the playbook breakdowns. We'll try and get some tips and some gameplays up for you guys soon. But uh, make sure to check out uh, the full game. Uh, I'll have like a couple gameplays up where I show you, I show you some stuff. And then make sure to check out, make, like I said, make sure to check out the written version. And uh, also, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this free ebook. This is my first ebook I've ever done. Uh, I want. I need some feedback. Send me an email or tweet. Uh, send me a Twitter message or whatever. Uh, let me know how I did. Again, guys, thanks for watching this. Uh, thanks for watching these ebook videos. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, it helps you become a better NCAA 14 player. Like I said, guys, this is all I got for you. This is my best offense I think I've ever made. It's so simple, so flawless, but it's so freaking effective. And I'm gonna get a gameplay up there for you shortly. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.